tips for this age, I think, would be if you can, travel with them because they're pretty portable and they can't move too far away. So it's a really great time to be doing some travel. While you're trying to stick with the routine and making sure they're sleeping at the right things, I thought it was a time also where I needed to start trying to be a bit flexible and get out there in the world, especially when I had a two-year-old and an infant. I think you've got to go with your gut and if it feels right to be feeding your baby solids a week before they say you should be in the book, then do it because they'll need it and you'll know your baby will be giving you the signs that they're hungry. So go with a bit of gut and a bit of research as well to find out what's right. Don't wait for the exact time when they say you should be doing things. It turns out I was really good at burping uh, and if you can master that skill it's a good thing because once you feed the baby don't try and put them down until you burp them. It can take some time. Rub, don't pat. So you rub like from the bottom of the bottom of the spine, rub up and that, that yeah. Apparently I was a bit of a burping expert, so I'll try and pass on my, uh, my baby whispering skills. Just enjoy it, it's such a fun time, you know, watching all the milestones actually happen. You just gotta do what you gotta do to get through and make it work for you. Love every minute of it, because the first smile, the first giggle, the first wriggle, the first sit up, there's a reason it's called a first and it only happens once. It'll pass. <laughs> Harley only eats packet food, despite my best uh, efforts to try and get it to eat homemade food, but that won't be forever, and you might think that you're being judged, but actually you're probably not, because the other parents that are looking at you are probably worried about what's going on with their own baby, so you don't have to worry too much about that. So that'll pass, it's just a phase. And once you hear that burp, it's the best sound in the world, because <laughs> that means it's time to sleep. So I think that's important to not be scared, because it's scary, the idea of taking a, a newborn baby or an infant out for dinner, but you've just got to... You got to do it. They're part of your life, so make sure that they they know that, and they also um, are okay sleeping with noise. I th it sounds like it's a really young age, but I think it's never too. They can never be too young to start involving them in things. So from when Bodhi was three, four months, like he was sitting up in the high chair um, at the bench, watching me cook, and you know, and and you just talk to them like like they're just a buddy and they're just absorbing everything. So I think just start involving them no matter how young they are because they are so onto it. They know so much more than, than people give them credit for. If you've got prem babies, definitely don't get hung up on milestones. But anyway, don't get hung up on milestones. I mean, you know, each baby is so different and we're just so, um, we've got this thing about comparing babies to each other. And, you know, someone will come along that's had one baby and tell you everything about what you're doing wrong or what you're doing right, you know, all these, and the baby will do this then, and it's like, I guess that's the interesting thing about having twins, they're so different. And if you, if you do the nature versus nurture, I think nature's got a big part to play.